How's it going? Long time no see. Now you might be wondering, what the heck is this thing? Well this is one of three failed projects that I've been working on. I'll, I'll let you try and figure out what this is. I'm not gonna tell you because maybe I'll make it work someday. But for now, I'd like to get a video done. And the reason I've had so many failed projects is not lack of trying. The bar's just too high. So today, we're gonna lower the bar. So I guess to start, we're gonna need a bar. Oh really, I guess to start, I need to get this giant thing off of here. I yeah. Uh... Good Lord. Woo, that's enough work for a day. ABS, what do I mean lowering the bar? Well, this is my attempt to escape the never-ending YouTube treadmill. The basically unattainable thought that this video has to be my best video. Pushing harder and harder on each video, it's just unsustainable, man. I really enjoy making things. It's kind of a peaceful place for me. But if I'm only making things to outdo myself, I'm really just making myself my own enemy. So I'm here today to do myself the service and really to do all of us the service of lowering the bar. Let's make some trashy projects, guys. This doesn't mean that I won't be bringing my uh, overcomplicated, ridiculous ideas to life. I enjoy that too. I just don't enjoy it all the time. Like, I want to build a shed, man. <laughs> I've got practical things that I need to do too. Look at that. That's a nice bar, huh? So, we're going to take this bar, we're going to lower it, and we're going to make lowering the bar a positive experience. So here we have a shaft, a wiper motor, and a couple bearings. This wiper motor already has some steel mounting stuff on it, so I think we can just use that as is. So we just gotta couple the shaft to the wiper motor. So, to the lathe! I mean, it's not that sketchy. All righty, this goes on to here, just like that. Now, we just need to hold up the other end. Oh my God. Ow, my wrist. And more importantly, ow, my coffee. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Beauty. There's not much more sad than having to clean up spilled coffee. It's like here I go just sopping up my happiness for the morning and throwing it away. All right, this guy goes right here. This guy goes right here. This will be our spool to raise and lower the bar. And rather than doing this properly, remember we're lowering the bar here. I'm just gonna drill some holes in this shaft. And we'll tie a string through there and just let it spool up on the shaft. Just like that, we've got a rotating shaft. A little wobbly, but I don't think I've ever made something with a motor that isn't wobbly, so I'll take it. Now then, we need this to be fun. I want some fanfare when this happens. So, I went to the thrift shop, got me a fog machine, and a little disco thing. Sorry, I left this in the truck and it snowed. Oops. First, I wanna see if this works and what it does exactly. What, that's one, two, three, four double A's. That's 12 volts. Probably be easier for me to just have double A batteries, but I don't. Just turn it on for a second. Uh-oh, did I fry it? I think I fried something. Dang, that thing looks sweet. Well, we're gonna make this thing work one way or another. All right, let's see what you got. Got a little speaker in there, got a little disco ball. Thought it would be on a servo or something, but there are multiple wires going into it. Should we see what this guy's got? Do the old snip and try, you know? It's a great way to ruin electronics. I snipped them, now we just gotta try. That's a good zero volts, let's go. We got light. 
And we got movement. And we got nothing. Did I kill him? It's all good. I burnt that thing out on purpose because LEDs are boring. Here, we have a little laser module. Much more exciting. This goes into this little part that I made on the laser. Just using hot glue. Very professional. Oh god. Uh, well, I gotta hold this. Like so. And then this guy will clip onto this guy. Just like that. Now if we apply 5 volts to it, got a little spinning laser. Isn't that fun? Now we can reassemble all of this. If I can find the screws. Yeah, God knows where those went. We can reassemble all this with hot glue. <laughs> Perfect. And now we have a little spinning laser disc ball. Disc ball? How cute. But, this being a red laser, it's not really dancing around in the air. So, we need thicker air. So to produce some thick air, I have a little, uh, vape thingy. This was left in my house for a couple weeks, so I think it's fair game at this point. These run on a single lipo cell, if I'm not mistaken, which should be at 3.3 volts. And I assume this is the input, because this plugs into the little, uh, vape box if you will. So I'm assuming the outside is ground and the center is positive. I could just destroy this thing. Pulling like 10 watt, but I'm not seeing anything. All right, I've upped the voltage to 12 volts, which is what we're gonna be running most of these things on anyways. And it seems to work. I got a little bit of smoke. And we got a little fog machine. So, bit of a problem. They wanted their tank back. But, I'm cleared to use the rest of this thing. All we gotta do is make a new tank. I've gone right ahead and cut these parts out on the laser. And these go together like... Oh god. And these go together like... Like so. Now we can take these pieces, stick them on here, and then just cross our little fingies that those O-rings are actually gonna hold up, and then... This piece is for the fan, and that'll attach just like that, using a liberal amount of hot glue. Beautiful. Now this thing can actually stand up by itself. Eh? And here we have a mixture of glycerin and distilled water. I'll just fill our little tank with. Uh-oh, it's leaking. Whatever. Leak doesn't stop me from testing. Here we go. Hmm. More glycerin. And maybe I'll fix the leaks too. All right, here we are a bit later. As you can see, I've spilled glycerin all over the workbench. I've tried a ton of different power supplies and kept burning out the coils on these. Now, I've got this PC power supply and I'm going off the five volt lead. And would you look at that. Vape Nation! We got ourselves a fog machine, guys. A little mini one of that. Isn't it cute? So, we got lights, we got fog, the last thing we need for any good party is a horn. You know the one I'm talking about, the burr 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 burr. <laughs> so, I went ahead and 3D printed these parts. This is designed by MyCatch on Thingiverse, links in the doobly-doo. But I think you take this part and stretch the end of a balloon over it. Then somehow thread this piece on without breaking the balloon. I'll lube it up a little bit. Yeah. No problem. And this part goes in here. We got ourselves an air horn. Here goes nothing. Whoo! That is loud, man. Burr, 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 burr. Doesn't quite sound right, but... That's what we got. Well, now then, we just gotta take all of this and somehow mount it on here. Let's do it. Uh, there we go, that's better. Oh, sick. Frickin' PLA threads. Here's what I'm gonna do. I guess I can put epoxy on there now. 
And with all our silly little bits added, all that's left is to do the electronics. Phone recording. Don't mind me. The electronics for this are all pretty simple. It's just an Arduino to control everything and relays to flick on all our fun little party favors, if you will. But I thought I'd have a little fun with how to control it, so I used a Smackin speech recognition module. Smackin. <laughs> so the speech recognition is done within the module, so you just have to train the module with your phrases, and it'll do all the processing to recognize that, and then just send digital outputs to the Arduino. So, we've got the serial monitor open, and we need to send it the command train one, and nothing happened. Technical difficulties. <laughs> You're gonna laugh at me when I tell you what the problem was. I forgot to hook the five volts up to my little breadboard rail here. 99% of the time, the problem is me. <laughs> anyway, now we go train one. This thing can hold 80 different recordings. We're gonna save ours in one. Lower the bar. Well, it was that easy. Let's save another one, huh? Train. Two, lower the bar. Look at that. Easy peas, dude. Now, as you can see, we've got it responding to my two uh, recordings. Lower the bar. Reset. Lower the bar. Reset. Beautiful. Ta-da. As you can definitely tell from this jumbled mess of wires, it's done. Now all that's left to do is hang this thing on the ceiling, stick the bar on it, and watch this thing go. Let's do it. Now how I expect to do this by myself, standing on a rolly chair, I don't know. But I'm going for it. Oh my god. I hit a stud! First try! Ah, one screw's enough, right? No, I'll put another. <laughs> I got it up there! It's a miracle! So it's up there. I suppose it's time to do some acting. Hooey! This project is getting overcomplicated and unenjoyable, both to make and to watch. I suppose it's time to lower the bar! <laughs> Good lord. It's not low enough. I think we need to lower the bar some more. <laughs> I don't know if you can even see the smoke or lights, but uh, it's hazy in here, man. <laughs> now that it's nice and hazy in here, I guess it's time to have a heart to heart. So what does it mean now that the bar is down here? Well, hopefully more videos. I kind of got into a place where there were many projects I wanted to do, but none of them I deemed worthy to be a video. I'd say that's not a good enough idea to be a video, but this is my damn channel. And while I do enjoy the quality of projects and complexity being ramped up throughout the life of my channel, I don't enjoy the frequency being ramped down. I'd rather make a lot of videos than a couple good videos a year. The more that I flex this video making muscle, the better they get anyway. So who cares if I'm making a 3D printer or a shelf? <laughs> a good video can be strung out of both of those projects. So, this is me telling myself that the bar does not belong up here. The bar is wherever I frickin' put it. And by no means does this mean I'm not gonna do the overcomplicated, ridiculous projects. I enjoy those projects, I just don't exclusively enjoy those projects. So, expect more of those, but also expect one-day builds. Expect sillier videos. And overall, what I'm hoping to achieve with this is expect more videos. I feel a bit ashamed that I've let my YouTube channel rot for the last couple months. So, hoping to do better this year. 
Maybe even leave some suggestions for videos you'd like to see down in the comments. That would be super helpful. Otherwise, if you like what you saw, leave a good old dinger. Think about subscribing and thank you for watching. I'm scared this thing's gonna fall on my head.